I'm excited about finals. Obviously, it's, it's it's anybody's game. Obviously, only three spots or whatever it is. It is you you've got to go and play great golf. Thirty six holes is a long grind out there, especially if it's going to be windy and a tough course. So obviously having won regional going into finals, obviously I knew my game was in, was in good shape. So it was one of those where if I'd played like I did in regional, but I'd stand a pretty good chance. You know, I got off to a lovely start, like three under through eight. You know, didn't really miss a shot in those in those early those early holes. And then, similar to, to, to regional, actually, my round kind of took a little bit of a turn for the worse around the turn. I didn't, I can't, you know, I didn't really do loads and loads wrong. They're just, you know, they're just kind of tough holes. Uh, and you need to hit good shots if you want to make the par, let alone birdie. So my golf did get a bit scruffy around that point. Uh, and, it, you know, it was a bad feeling to, to kind of know you've put yourself in a good position and to kind of feel that slipping away a little bit. I did also know that the scoring was not going to be particularly low. People can beat themselves a little bit in final just because they think that they have to shoot silly low, whereas realistically it's not always the case. So Eagle on 15 on the first round, it was, um, I hit a good drive actually, nice low one, which kind of ran out there fairly well. I mean, I had about 220, I think 224 was the number, and I just hit like a low, a low two iron kind of over that bunker. It's, it's really, it's, it's a great design, like you've got to hit it. It looks like there's no room right, but there is room right. You just have to trust it. And just started a two-iron like out over the bunker and it just drew back lovely to about 10 feet or so. It kind of really got my round back going, which is why I was disappointed with how I finished, to be honest. Shame to, to, to kind of throw those shots away at that point because uh, you know, they probably had the worst, the worst tasting lunch of all time, not, and it was nothing to do with the cooking. I think the finish, the miss putt on 18, that that really hurt. I mean, it was probably the only really poor putt that I hit from from kind of close range. Going into round two, we had no, no, we had virtually no time between rounds. I mean, we had about 25 minutes. I didn't truly know where we stood. I just know it was really, really bunched. Um, especially around that number, it looked like there was a couple. Of, it it kind of looked like there was a couple of guys getting away from the field, and then there was just like a massive group on like one, two under, and even that were kind of fighting for the last spot almost. But I wasn't really thinking about that. I was just trying to get off to a good start and, and see where see where that put us. And, so in round two I birdied, so I started on 10, birdied 11, 12, 13 and 15. So for all of a sudden, you know, dream start really for round two. Get to four under early. That break on seven, honestly, I, I was just like, I couldn't, oh my God, I, I couldn't do it. I had nothing, I literally had nothing. It was classic Lynx golf. I just kind of hit a bit of a bad drive left. Didn't get a great lie. And then my, my second shot came out a bit, a bit loopy and it's just finished in like the worst place ever, like to where I could barely kind of move it, to be honest. taking the biggest swing at it and moved it about five yards or so. So And then 
to play A the way I played A, I don't, with the reaction to the shot, I don't think I've ever done that before, ever, with the ball in the air. But I just, for some reason, I just knew it was going to be close. And, uh, and to be honest, I love the part that I hit, it just didn't go in, and nine would have been made, or eight, uh, my 18th, ninth, would have been a hell of a lot easier if I, all I needed was a five. So on the ninth tee, I was um, a tee shot that I really struggled with. All, like all, well, both times before, I hadn't hit the fairway. I was in deep rough left, then deep rough right. Um, but it's kind of an optical illusion. You have to just commit to hitting it right. Like the clubhouse is almost a line, uh, and I must have hit a little bit of a sort of necky healer out there, which I knew was going to be safe. But I knew I was going to have a long in, uh, long, long shot in. To be honest, because obviously it was uns it, when I pulled it missed, and left, left of the green, I you know I was unsighted, so I didn't know where it was. I, I felt if it was a round pin high, it wasn't going to be any you know it was going to be a fairly easy up and down, um, or probably easier than what I made it look. I got the I got the weight right, which is the easiest bit, but I, I just got the line totally wrong. Um, but left is is way better than right. I was never going to hit it right at that green. winning the Open Championship would be, or playing in the Open Championship, to be honest, would be, it'd be one of those things you look back on your golfing career and then know that you, you've achieved something, you've played with the best in our championship. So I think that would be a huge deal. I'd love to play and I'd love to do well. You know, you're essentially only ever three rounds away from playing in, in my opinion, the, the greatest major there ever was. I think the Open is the major, it's the golf tournament. I mean, it's the only major that's kind of on our time zone. It's courses we relate to. And I think there's something that makes that a little bit more special for some reason. Yeah, St George's is a bit of a tease over there with the grandstands, I must admit. You know, we get to to get to the back of six and you just kind of, you almost kind of just don't want to look at it. I just think it's just one of those where it's sort of, it's very easy to get too far ahead of yourself in golf anyway, let alone with the open venue being literally a stone's throw away from where you're playing. When you enter open qualifying, you obviously think about the end goal, which is qualifying for the open. I suppose ideally you'd, you'd be playing so solid to where you wouldn't have to hold a putt like that. <laughs> so I suppose in my, in my your dream, your dreams are always like better than the reality, aren't they? So I suppose in my dreams I'd have shot like 267s and I'd have just enjoyed the walk, but <laughs> no such luck this time. Oh, it's such a weird fit, honestly. Like to, to be, because obviously it was such a roller coaster towards the end there. Like you, I, I just, it's so soon that I just find it hard to even speak about it. It's weird, um, dramatic finish at least. Eh? The last part, I mean, what was it? Probably 15 feet, something like that, maybe more. Um, but it was quite a sidewindy little part. I mean, I had, I was playing at least a foot and a half of break probably out of the right and um, to be honest it wasn't the greatest roll that I put on it all day but it went right in the middle and yeah that is, it's just such a, it's a bit of a blur really I can't even remember what I did probably made an absolute fool of myself but who cares though straight after obviously there's just like this massive massive high but for some reason um, I, I my mind fairly quickly turned to like get my card right like I, I you know if I knew if I just kind of went or ballistic and then sign for the wrong score like it would just been probably the worst worst come down ever so 
Initially, it was like 30 seconds of madness, and then I kind of like calmed myself down, made sure my scorecard and stuff was right. You did? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you all right? Uh, yeah, good. Don't really know. How, I don't even know how to answer the question. It feels so weird. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I have really you been following it? This, but I'm so proud of you. You've been following it? Um, I'm not going to lie, I didn't check the scores till like 5.30 today. Really? Oh, that's probably better. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I never check them anymore. I just check them at the end because like, it stresses me out. There's nothing you can do about it either when you're watching. I think it's yeah, probably I think it's probably the definition of like torturing yourself that you watch is, it all yeah. day. Yeah, and you had to play two rounds anyway, so I was like, there's so much like golf to play. But I didn't start checking until I got back from Maggie's walk and I came back and had a bunch of messages and everyone's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Dad called and he's been in the school bar the all, all evening and he's Dad said absolutely he was hammered. In the he, he, bar. Cried. he said he was oh. in the school bar crying his eyes out. Um, I've seen a video. There's probably a couple. How's it look? How's my hair look? Jack. <laughs> How's my hair? Look? To do it with Jack as well. Obviously, that makes it, you know, twice as special. Like it's always been a dream to play in the open. Um, but to know that I was doing it with Jack, um, and he honestly was amazing today. Like got me through it and. You know, you probably see on the footage, like I was almost leaning on him more and more, like as it went down the stretch. So, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be, I know for a fact I wouldn't be here without him. So, um, yeah, I'm buzzing. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's absolutely, it's absolutely brilliant, to be honest with you. Um, I probably looked like it would be a lot more stressful. I, I was only, I only really got particularly stressed about it in the last sort of couple of holes, and then I was very stressed. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Um, it didn't seem stressed, to be fair. Really? Not really. I mean, cool to, cool to keep coming on this. No, to be fair, I did feel sort of pretty calm, um, pretty calm most of the day, until, <laughs> until it was all over. I couldn't hold it together, I don't know what was wrong with me. <laughs> yeah, I, I was absolutely, absolutely brilliant. I remember it forever, forever and ever. Um, extremely proud moment. That's, I think I was, I, was, I was coming up with two different scripts while we stood over it. What am I going to say if it's a playoff? <laughs> what am I going to say if he wins it? Script A we... or script B? <laughs> yeah, fortunately. Frankly, script B. Fortunately, fortunately, it's script B, and I don't think I said anything I thought I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was, it was yeah, incred incredible moment, and uh, yeah, one, one, one I remember. the road to the open continue at the open? Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, once you've made cut, it to the open, cut. you just drop me off, you drop me off at the front gates and you say, right Sam, this is all we've done. You, <laughs> this we've is taken you as far as we could go and you just usher me back into the, the wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll do. Oh, so he's done it. That'll do. <laughs>